G'day, and welcome to Partaker's Wednesday Worship on the 13th of July, 2011. Let's start today with a song. Your love, O Lord. Your love, O Lord, reaches to heaven. Your faithfulness stretches to the sky. Your righteousness is like my mountain. Your justice so like the ocean skies. And I will lift my voice to worship you, my King. And I will find my strength in the shadow of your wings. Your love, O oh Lord, reaches to heaven. Your faithfulness stretches to the sky. Your righteousness is like my mountain. Your justice is so like the ocean sky. And I will lift my voice to worship you, my King. And I will find my strength. In the shadow of your reign Your love, O oh Lord Reaches to heaven And your faithfulness Stretches to the sky We now come to a time of confession of our sins the Apostle John writes in 1 John 1 verse 8 to 10, If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Let's now have a short time of silence to reflect upon our lives and then we will say a general confession together. We say together, Heavenly Father, you have loved us with an everlasting love, but we have gone our own way and broken your laws. We are sorry for our sins and turn away from them. For the sake of your Son who died for us, forgive us, cleanse us, and change us. By your Holy Spirit, enable us to live for you and to please you more and more. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I will now say a general confession and please respond with thanks be to God. God has promised in his word that when we confess our sins, he forgives us and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Thanks be to God. Please do open your Bibles to our Old Testament reading, which is Psalm 93. Our reader today is Jenny. So over to you, Jenny. Psalm 93 The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and is armed with strength. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up, O Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves.
mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Your statutes stand firm, holiness adorns your house for endless days, O Lord. Our New Testament reading is from Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 11. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time when we were still powerless, Jesus Christ died for the ungodly. Very rare will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's pray together, and as the words come up on the screen, you might like to join with me. Be exalted, Lord, above the heavens. Let your glory cover the earth. Keep our nations under your care and guide us in justice and truth. Let your way be known by all people and your saving power amongst all nations. Send out your light and your truth that we may tell of your saving works. Lord, we also lift to you all those affected by the, the massive drought in the Horn of Africa. Hear their cries. Help the aid agencies and national governments to assist these people quickly. And we pray also especially for a dear friend, Lynn, who fell and injured herself yesterday. We pray for quick healing and assure her of your love for her. Lord, hear our prayers, for we put our trust in in you and all of God's people said Amen you are loved by God and blessed by him did you know that in Jesus Christ the love of God was seen and exemplified through his death we can confess our sins as we did earlier and know that they are forgiven by God Sometimes you may doubt that God can love and forgive you. So today, let us go through and give you seven reasons or blessings to affirm you as a Christian from our Bible reading in Romans chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. 1. We have peace with God, from verse 1. God in his great mercy has declared peace to all those who accept salvation through Jesus' death on the cross. Mercy and truth are joined. Righteousness and peace have blessed and kissed each other. Psalm 85 verse 10 Secondly, we have access to God. Verse 2 When Jesus died, he tore the temple veil and broke down the wall between God and humanity. As Christians, we have immediate access to God through our faith in Jesus Christ. Thirdly, we have a glorious hope, verse 2. We have peace with God, takes care of the past. He no longer holds our sins against us. We have access to God, which takes care of our present. We can come to him in prayer when 
whatever we desire. And we have a glorious hope which takes care of our future. All Christians will one day share in his glory. Fourthly, we develop Christian character, verses 3 and 4. Being justified is no escape from the sufferings and trials of this world. But for the believer, for the Christian, suffering and trials are for our own good. We bring them on ourselves by our own foolishness and sin. We endure for the sake of the gospel. Suffering, as we read, develops our patience and perseverance. Patience and perseverance grows our character. And through character, we have a glorious hope. Number five, we have God's love within us. The love of God is poured into our hearts. We experience love, peace and joy. The inner experience of this love through the Holy Spirit who sustains us as we go through sufferings. Faith, hope and love all combine to give those who love God the patience to endure the trials of life. Number six, we have salvation from future wrath. He will keep on saving us now that we love him. We need strength to endure suffering and persecution, remembering that he who stands firm in faith will in the end be saved. And lastly, number seven, we have reconciliation with God. Verse 11, we have fellowship with God. In Romans chapter 1, people declared war on God and deserved eternal condemnation. Yet God in his great mercy sent Jesus Christ as a peacemaker that humanity may return to fellowship with him. And we are to rejoice in our present enjoyment of reconciliation with God. And we are to rejoice that all this comes through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our Saviour. These seven blessings of your being a Christian show how certain you can be that God loves you, God has blessed you, and that you are his child. If you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Saviour, then his love and blessings are yours. We now have a closing prayer together. May the love of God the Father, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, evermore. Amen.